Welcome to Creative Edge Techniques. This monthly tutorial will accompany each and every Creative Edge article showcasing and explaining one of the techniques that I used. All flowers must be fully hydrated to cut and glue in your flowers to wear designs. Some flowers will require prepping in advance to be able to use them at their optimal stage of opening. I like to prepare these flowers by cauterizing in the following way. There are three options for containing your cauterized blooms. Have them prepared ahead before processing your flowers. For just a few blooms, a clear plastic bag, lightweight, that can inflate like a balloon, then seal shut with a rubber band or a bind wire. If you have more blooms that need cauterizing, a cardboard box lined with plastic with layer of paper towel spritz so that it stays moist. Or a flat plastic storage tray with fitted lid with a layer of paper towel spritz to keep it moist. Make sure that your flowers are fully hydrated before gluing them. Some flowers may come to their prime a day or two before you need them. In that case, make sure to prepare them at their optimum stage using the following technique. First, cut the stem off of the back of the flower. This allows for maximum surface for solid gluing. For big, heavy roses, prepare the cut blooms with a chenille insert like I demonstrated in my Gluing Garden Roses for Flower Wearables video. And then seal the cut immediately with Oasis Floral Adhesive and let it set. This cauterizes it, sealing the water content inside the flower. And then lay the flower flat on its back. Repeat this process with each flower, laying them side by side in the bag, box, or plastic tray and then mist the flower with water. Lay a paper towel over the flower and mist again to moisten. Place a plastic sheeting over the layer of flowers. You can lay another layer of flower heads on the top of the plastic sheet and repeat the process. Place the bag, covered box, or lidded plastic tray in the cooler, refrigerate with moisture, makes all the blooms as hydrated and turgid as possible, ready for gluing. This technique allowed me to keep blooms used in this month's flower head pieces at their optimal stage throughout the multiple days of shooting. In fact, here are some beautiful peonies, look at these, that I prepared five days ago, still looking great and ready for gluing. Now that you know the simple trick to keep your flowers fresh at its optimum, you can go create your own beautiful flower wearables. To read this month's full article, please visit hitomigilliam.com slash creativeedge. You'll be able to see the finished headpiece and read the accompanying article for more insight and for the list of flowers and supplies used to create each of the three pieces. Also look for another tutorial coming this Wednesday. I demonstrate the mechanics and flowering of my sassy modern flower pillbox hat. Back again is a limited number of signed 8x10 prints from this month's article. This month's print features my Garden Nymph Flower Crown. Prints can be ordered up until August the 14th and will begin shipping the week of the 17th. And as always, please consider supporting my channel by liking this video and subscribing for future content.